Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of MechWare Online. Uh, this time we're playing on River City Night. Have I ever showed you River City Night? Well, it's fucking terrible because of the reason that you can't see shit and heat vision is the only usable. Oh, I'll show you later. Anyways, today we're playing with my Cicada double PPC uh, sniper harassment mech. Uh, a lot of fun. And it's something I've actually been wanting to show you guys for a while because it's actually a, um, a bit of a playstyle which I've, I've quite enjoyed. And it's actually comparable to the 4PPC uh, catapult that you guys saw before. Oh, it looks like they had a player drop on their Reactor side. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems the two online. modes I have are night vision, which looks like shit, and heat vision, which looks like shit, but this looks slightly less like shit, so... Um, well, that's it, let's carry on. So, my speed, 133.6. Not a bad, not too bad of a speed at all. Uh, it's actually, uh, I consider this to be light speed. Uh, well, okay, that that wasn't meant as a joke. Um, it was an unintentional pun. And so what I do is I essentially get to the front lines first and I get into interesting sniping positions and I make them miss me and all that kind of crap. Basically, I'm, I'm here just to be a major pain in the ass. And let me go find out where my team is. Okay, looks like they're moving up with me here, so. And so basically my job is to take pot shots, let them waste shots at me. This guy is a, whoopsies, oh, I am stuck on something. Okay, here. Um, I, I'm here just to like take pot shots at people and then run off, basically. Like, let, let other people deal with, uh, I'm not a brawler, I'm not supposed to be a brawler. Um, if I can, I can run to like our cap and, and prevent uh, them from capping or something. Um, and I missed that too. Here, here's a Raven, I think. Yeah. He's going ser seriously slow. So basically, I can take like three shots, three three volleys of uh, which is about. As I said, it's comparable. It's not a it's not a great alpha strike, but it's a hell of a lot of PPC, and I probably should have not uh, stood there. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching the map boundary here. Okay, so I, I've moved too close there because I actually don't have a whole lot of armor, believe it or not. I'm, su I'm supposed to not get shot. And I can make people like get off of like think positions like that, like that catapult. But anyways, uh, I, could do, I could do about three shots uh, without, having to, um, without having to stop shooting. And that's actually good because my, my catapult can't even do that. My catapult can only do about two. Acquired. Given that this has two double heat sinks, uh, it's not bad. So I have to get used to the override engage thing, Bob. But uh, it's it prevents my, my shutting downness. Uh, but I also have an ECM, so I actually should probably stay closer to my teammates here. So once they ha all have ECMs, they all. That's a catapult. That's uh, an LRM boat. He can't get a lock on anyone, so he's he's kind of upset about that. I also have no core armor, so I'm gonna make sure that uh, I don't die. I'm I'm ruining that catapult. Stay here. Anyways, um, so yeah, I can get a good couple of shots off, and usually this is enough. Like at this point, I just back off and I let my heat dissipate because then they're kind of looking for the guy who's just shooting them, and so like. I, I want to go, hey, I'm not here. So if I get closer to this catapult, I will prevent him from getting a lock. So now he can't get a lock on anyone. I can't actually see who their allies are and all that kind of crap. So ECM, man. You know, I, I actually didn't really go over what ECM actually does. I should maybe consider doing that. Um, so ECM is electronic countermeasures. Um, and basically what it does, it's a module that only certain chassis can equip. And just imagine that there's a giant 180 meter bubble circle around me. And what this acquired. circle does is basically... Um, oh cool, I killed someone. What this circle does is it prevents enemies from seeing allies. Like they can't see ally, like you know how I see this blue thing showing me this is an ally? I won't be able to see an ally from an, uh, from an enemy. Um, other uh, enemy, uh, other allies or Sorry, other enemy uh, of their allies basically cannot see their friends either. Um, Target acquired. Who the hell is that? 
Oh, well, let's just go and start capping. Enemy base is being captured. So, uh, so like, if that guy was in an ECM, I wouldn't be able to see that death spell over there. Uh, for example, if he was in an ECM bubble. And if you're in an ECM bubble, and uh, if you're in an, in an enemy ECM bubble, uh, you can't, you won't be able to get a lock with any weapon. Uh, and if the weapon requires a lock, you can't fire it, such as Streak SRMs. Um, that's, it's it's kind of confusing. Now, another ECM can be set to counter mode, like you see my little uh, ECM at the bottom there? I just set it to counter mode. So it will cancel the effect of one ECM that's near me. And so, and I can always tell if I'm in an ECM radius if my radar is saying low signal, and that's what an ECM does. So, and people can't, and people in an ECM bubble are treated as blocked, like if they're enemies and they're protected by ECM. Um, other people can't do a lock like I'm doing on this catapult right now, uh, like this this thing that allows me to achieve a lock. And so it nerfs down LRM so much. Guess we'll just chase after him. So that's why I actually don't suggest LRMs anymore, and this is why streaks are kind of broken with lights. Uh, you know, I can I, I can discuss more of that, but I think we're about to win here. Well, uh, whatever. It's it's since only chassis can equip it, it's kind of broken the stride of the balance of uh, between lights. Uh, and and yeah, as I said, I'll I'll tell you why a little later what I think about that. I know this is not really related to my ERPPC uh, cicada, but you know I'm trying to be a little bit educational here. So not too shabby on my end. Um, I did take a lot of damage. I was playing a lot more conservatively uh, because at the beginning I took a bit of damage. Also this map is shit, so nobody likes this map. Nobody likes it. Hey, okay, we're on a different map. Sorry, we I did another round of River City Night uh, because that's what wanted me to do. Um, well, uh, so this one here, uh, so we're now on a snow map, so it's slightly colder. Good for me. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, so, uh, continuing on the discussion of, uh, Streak SRMs. <clears throat> so there's only, like, wow, that guy almost hit me. There's only, like, um, three light sort of lightish class variants that can equip an ECM. Mine is one of them, but mine cannot have missile hard points. So I don't even think it counts as a... Uh, it, it, it's as fast as a light, you know. So it, it, I've got a lot of traits of the lights, which is nice. But yeah. Um, but basically, uh, streaks... Basically, the, the two light variants that can have them are the Raven 3L and the Commando 2D. And those ones are heavily, have a lot of streak hard points. And so, streaks are basically short range missiles that lock on, and they have basically a 100% guaranteed chance to hit whatever you're aiming at. Target. This poor guy. He was not expecting that. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to stay in here any longer. I'm going to move out. Well, actually, these guys have ECM coverage, so actually I should stay here. Um, so yeah, that's what the streaks do. And so, why are they fucking awful? Well, basically, it's a horrible way... New target acquired. Oh, looks like our guy died. I'm not sure what I'll be able to do. Uh oh. There we go. Uh, basically, they, they they counter lights because it, it's no skill. You just get to fucking just aim it. And this is why I stopped playing my Raven 3L, actually. It's because they were basically just no skill missile weapons. It's really easy to play with them. It really is. Okay. And and so, and basically by having an ECM, you ensure that the only people who can use, who could use streaks are is yourself. Because you can counter someone else's ECM. Uh, let's check out this guy. I missed. Fortunately, this is a bad place for me because my my two greatest problems are actually streak users, believe it or not. Uh, lights that are really fast and don't have to aim at me because my my speed means absolutely shit all when I have to uh, when I ha when I either have to be slow like this and possibly get hit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move past these guys. New target acquired. Let's go help with this guy. Look at this guy. This guy's just about to get fucked by me because 
watch this. He can't lock on to anyone now. Alright, let me carry on here. Um, something, uh, something interesting to note, I, I think I've pretty much covered the problems with streaks. Um, New target acquired. One of the things I do want to talk about is, um, uh, what's one call it? The hard points on this guy, because the hard points are actually not that, that great. Ah, oh, fuck this guy. Um, however, there are some advantages to, to this guy. So basically, my two, um, my my two uh, my two uh, energy slots are in my uh, are in my torsos. So my arms actually have almost next to nothing in armor because I simply don't need it. Um, so my arms are basically just there to absorb some damage for me if I turn my torso in a, in a way that is beneficial to me, like this. So I, I, I basically just outran the Centurion because I didn't want to fight him. Um, so I have only one piece of armor inside my arms, and you may be wondering why that is. And the reason for that is so it tricks people on their little radar thing when they first see me. Uh, they think I have full armor in them, because you can't actually tell how much armor someone has in a slot, just how much has been depleted. So it, I use it more as a strategical thing, and I'll turn my torso so they hit my arms, but really my arms, you might as well just chuck them out, because I, I don't need them. Target and that acquired. actually saves, that saves me a fair bit of uh, armor. Why did everyone run back here? Is there a reason why, that I don't know of that everyone ran back here? Because it, it kind of made me afraid. Because I didn't want to fight on my own here. Anyways, um, so what the hell are we doing here? Are we, is this just like, this is where we hold them? So my arms are pretty much, they have no weapons in them, they have no heat sinks, they have nothing in them at all. So if they get blown off, sometimes they'll absorb like a Gauss hit or an AC20 hit for me, which is good. That's what, that's what I really like about this variant. It's actually really cool for that. Uh, yeah. Target acquired. Okay, this guy is what? He's, he's this guy. So that that uh, LRM guy is trying to get locks with his tag, but the thing is, he's not going to be able to get much of a lock. New target acquired. And so I have to play very conservatively, actually, right now because I'm going to die if I don't. Target acquired. I'm trying. I'm trying to see people with my heat vision here. Oh, here's one. New target acquired. I think I hit him. Yeah, this guy is. This guy so wants me. New target acquired. Basically, my plan now is for harassment. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to fight any of this shit. New target acquired. So I'm not going to. Okay, let's go. Where's? The, the, I'm not gonna fight that LRM boat. I don't think he's gonna. Target acquired. He's gonna be a real problem. What I want to do is I want to ECM that uh, that other guy. Okay, I killed this guy. Base is being captured. Okay, let's get some ECM coverage Target in there. Acquired. And hit that guy in the back. So they won't know I'm down here, which is kind of nice. But I like my hard points on this. It, it makes it interesting to do builds like this acquired. that I'm doing here. Oh, wow, I killed that guy? Holy shit. Sorry, I did not expect that at all. This is a really good... It gets 20 damage. It's a nice big punch. And where'd he go? I'm always a little worried. There he is. Turning my back. He hit my torso. I, I, need, I need him to not hit my center torso, basically. Is being Survivability is most important right now to me. Okay, let me give him some ECM coverage and hit that guy. He's gonna go after me. He knows I'm I'm here. Okay, now let's go, let's go ruin this catapult today. Wow, that was that was a close match, but we stuck as a team and we won. Um, anyways, there's actually four energy slots and one ballistic slot. Uh, ballistics is kind of fucking garbage. Wow, I killed this guy. The poor guy. <laughs> you know this. As I said, this 20 damage is a is a hell of a lot. Uh, and there's one last guy. I, I, I won't know what kind of variant he is. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so there's four energy slots, one ballistic slot. There are no good ballistics light weapons at all. So I 
Uh, this is pretty much I one of my favorite builds with the 3M. Actually, I think it's my only favorite build. Like, ECM and ERPPCs, damn, dude. Because it's just like you're you, you're basically sniping and you can't get nobody can lock on to you. So uh, the only your only counter is like people with long range weapons, basically. Or if you're in if you're forced in situations which suck. Enemy base is being captured. Target acquired. And we're done. That guy was AFK, by the way. Or, like, I don't know. He disconnected. Who knows what the hell he did. Not a very fair match, though, if it, if it was uh, the 7 on 8. But, you know, th that's the second match we've had like that, actually. I, I'm not, I don't pick these. Oh, well. Okay, so we're playing on um, the forest map again, Forest Colony. And this is the more not-so-snowy version of it. So the temperature has gone up uh, just slightly. So uh, the, the higher the temperature, the worse it is for me because my, I can't fire my PPCs as much. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems. I love how even before we're done, I can still I can like tilt my torso, like my 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 HUD kind of a thing. It's funny. It's a, this is the only mech that does it. Um, well. So I guess uh, we're we're gonna wrap this up pretty soon. Uh, it's kind of nice, as I said. It's it's a it's a good uh, it's a good build overall. Um, the thing is, I didn't really get to show you any really big maps. And if you really want to see me play on a really big map, there I have that ERPPC Cicada video where I um, sold the team. And this is the thing: like I did a lot of damage there, and you're maybe wondering why I'm not doing the same amount. It's because I simply don't have enough time and firepower. I'm a medium. What I'm getting out of it is like I get more than enough uh, firepower uh, like I get more than enough damage out you know and my team is following me uh, I get I get plenty of damage I'm I like 400 for me that's a that's a good number getting something like 700 means probably our team got rolled and I had to spend the rest of the time like harassing them and playing from long range and also I think one of the main questions that some people may have is why do I have ERPPCs on rather than regular PPCs? Because ERPPCs heat up much more. Um, they do. Uh, however, they do have longer range as well. I like it both for the range. Target Who the hell is acquired. that? No, these guys aren't the ones getting hit. It's the guys over here. Alright. Well, let me go over here and ECM them. What the hell is this? It's like a mech traffic jam. There's like a dragon all the way over here. Alright, let's go to a sniping position. Uh, so the ERs, uh, not only do I have one of the longest range weapons in this game, I, I, I even beat the Gauss rifle with this at, for range. Um, I also get uh, one of the disadvantages of a regular... Uh, PPC is that I can't I can't fire at below 80 meters and that's actually a big problem for me because um, as you notice I sometimes run into situations where I need to fire fired in a in a in a place where uh, people are right close to me so uh, I like it because it's a close range weapon and a long range weapon at the same time it, it will it will work in both uh, it, it does mean I generate more heat uh, also, we're all getting fucking stomped over here, so... This guy should not have stayed out there, and I'm gonna get shot at, so I'm not gonna stay there. Let me get behind my team. You need a bit of forethought to play this game. You gotta watch out for guys with gosses and other like, because you can get counter sniped really easily with this mech. The whole, my whole, my whole purpose is to go so low under their radar that they will not shoot at me. And, and I think we're about to die. Oh god! Holy Jesus! Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. God. Um, time for some harassment strategies. New target acquired. Let's get this Jagger mech. New target Got acquired. this guy's component. I'll yeah, I'll go down swinging. 
Holy balls. Good job, team. I'm the last one alive. You know, I, and well, it's one of those things where uh, I, I don't know. New acquired. All right, let's see this guy. What's this guy got? Base is being captured. They're gonna go cap. They don't want to actually fight me. This guy has a lot of large lasers. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. And it looks like that guy has my the same build as me. Yeah. Same build. That guy has my build. Oh, that's uh that was us getting rolled. <laughs> nice build, Cicada. Oh well, I guess that's it for that. That was that was a Wow. That was a huge roll. Well then, I can't I can't carry a team. Like I had 303 damage. I was by no by no means uh doing poorly here. I did actually my job. My job was to help with the ECM and to take opportunistic shots. And I, I still got I still got one uh well I didn't get a kill out of it. I, I got like some component destruction stuff. But you can't it, it, that's what I mean. It's not if you play mediums, you're not carrying the team. You can carry it with like heavies, possibly. Uh, I've seen assaults carry teams. I've seen lights occasionally do some amazing things because they're just so hard to hit. If you get if you get lucky with any of them, it's good. But the mediums are just really bulky uh, and they go slower. Although this one's not too slow, but it's still bulky, and so it's, you just can't expect a whole lot. Oh well.